Welcome back. Well, last night's commitment ceremony on math certainly brought the heat. Mm -hmm. But amongst all the chaos, there was just this little tender moment between one of our favourite couples. You need to rise out of that unconscious voice that tells you this is the same pattern. Richie's like all the yeah, other guys, yeah. he's going to hurt me. How is Richard different from your previous partners? <laughs> Ridiculously different. Um, Richie's the kindest, most good human. Like, he's a good man. He hates hearing that. Yeah. Such a good man. Yes, he is. And that's what I wanted. I wanted a kind man. Oh, oh what a sweet moment. It. And we're thrilled to say Andrea joins us now from the Sunshine Coast. Good morning, Andrea. How are you? Good morning, everybody. Um, that was a lovely moment, wasn't it? Why do you think it affected Richard so much? Richie is very emotional. He feels things deeply and he finds it hard to hear nice things. Yeah, I think a lot of people, a lot of men certainly feel that way in relationships too. Um, you and Richard had a little bit of a hiccup this week, but you still wrote Stay. Why was that? Of course I wrote Stay. We still like each other. Yay. <laughs> we, um, we get along so well. So I'm actually saying bring on the conflict so we can see how we navigate oh, that wow. as a couple because that's, that's the big part of a relationship, I think, is how you navigate. Well, you know you're going well when you're asking for conflict. Just pick more fights, mate. <laughs> yeah. Get into it. Well, everything else is going smoothly, like the romance is nice. Oh, <laughs> we're both playful and fun and happy and we're both kind people. So, yeah, just um, bring on a bit of the... and let's see how we get through that. Oh, we're so happy to hear this. Um, a little bit of drama, though, on the other side of the table <laughs> surrounding Jack's comment to Lauren, the, the infamous mother comment what did you make of that situation okay like probably every other person in the entire world that was disgusting mm. and just showing uh, what comes out of Jack when he's under pressure is not cool but the good thing that comes out of this is that hopefully we all learn about behaviors and what's acceptable and what's not just by watching this mm. so I it was interesting that John called out the other men, isn't it? Because the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. Um, when he made that comment, what was it like in the room? And, and did you get to speak to Richard about that too and be like, well, yeah, what is going to be said about this? Yeah, I think most men would stand up for their partners uh, when action's happening down the other end of the table and you're kind of not really in it. Um, there was lots of discussion, though, about it amongst everybody, so it didn't go unnoticed. And I think um, John was right, giving everyone a bit of a, oh, come on, get in there and, and sort this stuff out. Yeah. That guy needs to get more buttons on I his show. Just one or two? Just one or two. One or two. Um, hey, we're heading into Family and Friend Week. What do you see coming or what is coming? What can we expect? More emotions. <laughs> <laughs> and a little secret, Richie and I had a cracker argument right before the oh. family arrives. <laughs> oh, so you got the conflict oh, you, got you asked for. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> We get to share. We get to share all of that with our loved ones. Well, we, we look wait. forward to seeing how you handle the conflict because, as you say, that can be the true test, can't it? Um, Making Andrew, up after the conflict is even better. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so they say. So. Um, Andrea, <laughs> Andrea, always great to chat. Thanks for your time today. Thank you for having me. Our pleasure. And you can catch Married at First Sight tonight at seven thirty, only on Nine and Nine Now. Hey there, today fans, Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?